for a high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcer for tonight's game. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another night of round ball action here during the fifth annual Town Down Dothan uh, Hoops Classic at the Dothan Civic Center. And we're set to uh, match up with the Northview Cougars and uh, the Rebels of Rehoboth. And a bit, this ought to be a pretty good game with uh, two area teams, right? Uh, exactly, Bobby. These two teams, uh, we know the coaches and, and we know uh, what they can do and the players. So uh, let's listen to the introductions of the players. Number 15, Ethan Jacobs. Number 21, Love Darius DeBose. Number 25, Corey Perkins. Number 31, Vincent Lampkin. Number 41, Josh Thompson. The starter for the Rebels tonight, number 11, Drake Rogers. Number 13, Austin Weber. Number 23, Antonio Debo. Number 35, Garrett Golden. And number 43, Zacchaeus Watford. The assistant coach is Mark McClendon. The head coach is Larry Easterwood. We've seen the Rebels in action and uh, pretty good uh, team this year. So we'll see and how they match up the against Cougars. Northview. Number two, Jonathan Carmichael. Number three, Ed Critton. Number 11, Kassan Griffin. Number 12, Des Cole. Number 14, Marcus Davis. Number 20, Miles Atkins. Yeah, Atkins. Number 33, Jeremiah Carroll. The starters for tonight's game for the Cougars. Number one, Marquez White. Number five, Jalen Harris. Number 15, Antonio Mitchell. Number 23, Artavius Marsh. Number 32, Luther Grimsley. The assistant coach is Michael Miller. The head coach is Janeski Fleming. Okay, Coach Fleming in his second year as the head coach of Dothan High School. Uh, Excuse me, Northview High School. Uh, he will not appreciate me saying that, but, uh, 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 you know, after be being in Dothan all these years and, and a Dothan High graduate, it just kind of just some, pops out of there. Sometimes it just reason. comes out that way. Plus it's a lapse in, in uh, memory, you know, as old as I am. But uh, we have a great matchup here with uh, Rehoboth and Northview. Uh, it'll probably be a close one just like the one we just got through watching with, with uh, Houston County. And uh, you follow. Great I tournament, what, uh, Bobby. I haven't had the opportunity to see either one of these teams play, but uh, I'm very familiar with Northview players because of football. I uh, covered all of their games, and uh, Jalen Harris was a quarterback uh, for Northview. Mark Reyes White was a wide receiver. So these guys, I'm very familiar with their names and all. Quick three pointer <coughs> is missed. A rebound from number 23 won't fall, and Rehoboth still going at it. And finally, Northview comes up with it. So on the fast break come the Cougars. 23 shoots it from downtown. Misses. Rehoboth on the fast break now. Number 35, Garrett Golden. Golden trying to go inside to 43. Wouldn't go. So here comes Northview. Coast to coast. Number one. Put it in. Mark That's why it's white. So Rehoboth getting a little full court pressure from the Cougars. 35 with the ball. Here comes number 13, Weber. Misses. So it uh, goes out on the Cougars. So the Rebels will toss it in. Trailing by two. In the early going, we're a minute and six seconds into this first period. Here's the inbound sauce. 23 and into uh, 13's hand. This is Weber shooting. And here comes Northview on the fast break. Number five, Jalen Harris travels. So it's still 2-0. Northview on top of this one. 
Garrett Golden will toss it in to number 11, Drake Rogers. Rogers coming across. Gets it to 43, Watford. Loose ball, 15 comes up with it for the Cougars, Antonio Mitchell. Harris looking. Octavius Marsh with the ball, pulls it back out. Number one drives the basket and puts it up and in. That's Marquez White. He's put up all four of Northview's points. Full court pressure for the Rebels. Gets it to Weber, then to number 23, DeBose. So we uh, get to take a couple of shots here for number 43. It's going to be Zacchaeus Watford. So the foul's on Grimsley. His first, team's first. So Zacchaeus Watford, senior, 6'3", makes the first one. Watford's second one is up, and he does not get the roll. So it stays with Rehoboth. At 35 inbounds to number 11, Rogers. All the way out to Weber at the top of the key. Rotation taking place. Number 35, Golden. Up and in. That was a really good ball movement that time by uh, Rehoboth getting the ball into Antonio DeBose. And he was able to put it in for two. So Grimsley picks up his second. Into the game is number 15. Uh, well, Mitchell's already in there. Let's see. Number three, number three. came in. Yeah, he had critted. So uh, Northview charged with kicking the ball. So Weber brings it across the timeline. Inside to 23, backs out. Back to Weber's hands. Weber able to hold on to it. Three point shot from 35, in and out. 23 on the rebound, misses. Norfew gets it. And, uh, but 35 comes back in to pick it up. That's Golden. And a good block that time. Uh, Ed Crinton did a good job coming from behind and blocking the shot. So this time Weber will toss it in. DeBose with it. Back to Weber. Now 11, Drake Rogers. Loose ball, 23 trying to go inside. Weber, top of the key for three. Count it. Austin Weber. So Rehoboth takes a 6-4 lead. Thirty-five with the foul. That's Golden. Four twenty-one left in this first period. Cougars with the inbounds toss comes into twenty-three. Artavius Marsh partially blocked, but it still gets to him. Number one shoots to three, he misses. That was Marquez White. Rehoboth on the rebound. Right now, Northview's only getting one shot opportunity. So uh, they've got to get all the players involved in the game. They need to get Antonio Mitchell involved. He's such a big part of this team. Number 35 takes a three-point shot. 43. I believe. 
Yeah, that's Watford. That's his first. So Watford is called for the foul, and uh, the Cougars take it out. So Josh Thompson's coming into the game, and Rogers takes the seat. Here comes Northview, trailing 6-4. Number 12 takes a three right off the bat. 41 gets the rebound. That's uh, Josh Thompson. So Golden gets it to Weber. Then Weber gets it over to number 23. Nobody to help there. Northview on the fast break. White misses the layup. See, I think it's going to go against number 15 for Northview. That's <coughs> oh, number five. Jalen Harris is calling for the foul, his first. Great steal by Northview's number three, Ed Critton. Critton has made a couple of good plays. He blocked his shot from behind, which looked like it was going to be an easy shot. And that time, he picked off the pass. Turnaround jumper from number 15. Antonio Mitchell, 6'4", senior. Okay, the foul is going to go against, I believe, number three, Critton. Up. Oh going to go against Marquez White. So Watford is one for two from the line with a two-shot foul here. First one's up and in. Okay, Rogers coming back in and uh, DeBose sits down. Watford looking to make it two in a row. It's up. Gets the roll. Counts. So it's an 8-6 lead for Rehoboth. I tell you, Marquez White takes it to him. That's six points for White. He has six of Northview's eight points. Rehoboth comes right back on the fast break. And uh, Drake Rogers puts it in. 10 to 8. Still for Rehoboth. Number 12 shoots a 3. Misses. One gets the rebound. Misses. A tap won't work. Here comes the Rebels. Number 13 with it. Boy, Rehoboth is... Rehoboth is doing a good job of passing the ball and getting it out on the fast break. They weren't able to complete it that time, but they did a very good job. So number 13, Weber picks up his first foul. That's the third team foul committed by Rehoboth. So far, only two Cougars have scored. That's Marquez White and Antonio Mitchell. Uh, four players on the Rehoboth team have put points on the board. Great uh, defense by Rogers. Made Northview throw it away. So Rehoboth gets a break. Rogers looks for the ball. Tries a little penetration. It's not there. 41, turn around, puts it in. That was a big, strong move by Josh Thompson. So 12-8 for Rehoboth. Right now, uh, Northview is getting beat inside. Hey, 41, I believe, we'll get that one. Josh Thompson's call for the foul. So that's the fourth team foul, both for both. Number 
Rehoboth comes up with a strong rebound. Well, what's happening, Bobby, on North, you end of the court, whoever gets the ball first is who's shooting. They're, they're not passing the ball around. If you look at Rehoboth, it's touching two and three and four players before they take the shot. And Northview is whoever gets the ball is shooting it. And that's what happened there. So Northview's got to break it down into more team ball. Uh, Drake Rogers looks like he may be shaking up pretty badly on that as he is really hobbling on that ankle, trying to walk it off. So we are resuming play with a 12-8 lead for Oboth, under a minute to play. Number 21 in the game is Ladarius DeBose. 41, Josh loses it to 33, Jeremiah Carroll. Across the court to number 12 for three. Misses. Here comes Rehoboth on the attack. Ladarius DeBose. Back to Ladarius. To 31. This is Lampkin. Inside to Josh Thompson. 41. Hook shot. He's foul. So he'll come to the line. Bobby, I don't know if you noticed that time, exactly what I was talking about now earlier. Uh, about how Rehoboth is passing the ball around. Yeah, it's obvious they're moving the ball around uh, much better on there in the court. Thompson's uh, first short shot is short. He stands in with uh, 0 for 1 from the line with two points. Misses both of them. <coughs> Whistle. And Northview, we're down to the last 6.6 .6 seconds of the first, and uh, they're trailing 12 to 8. Okay, Golden picks up his second foul. Number 15 coming into the game. I don't have 15. Okay, here comes uh, Cougars, coast to coast by 14. is blocked by Thompson. And that brings us to the end of the first period of play. It's 12 to 8. It's Rehoboth taking it to Northview. All right, here's the inbounds toss. Northview with it to number five, Jalen Harris, trailing by four. Jump ball. And, and it's Rehoboth's ball. They have the possession arrow, so Northview's just, right now they are very stagnant. They, uh, they've got to move around. Everybody was just standing around waiting on something to happen, and you have to go out and make things happen. Uh, Roboth uh, shoots for three from the corner, in and out. Big rebound by number 15, Antonio Mitchell, for the Cougars. Number one to the basket for two. Eight points for Marquez White. And they steal the ball. White steals it, but they're going to call him for the foul. Call somebody for the foul. I'm not sure if it's White or... Yes, it's going to be on White, his second. Rehoboth trying to get it across midcourt. They do. And uh, the Rebels are charged with uh, traveling. Substitution coming in. 
Ed Crittens in for Marquez White. 7-15, it's a 12-10 score. With the guys in blue up with the lead. Loose ball. 43 comes up with it. Zacchaeus Watford. Nice, nice spin move that time by Watford, Bobby. It gives him five points. 23 shoots long. 23 gets a rebound. Alert play. Gets it uh, in. Loose ball. Jump ball. It will be Northeast ball. Northview has got to sell down and start playing team ball right now, Bobby. They are not uh, playing team ball. Okay, 6.35 left in the first half. We have a substitution coming in. Number 12 is back into the game. Uh, Dez Cole as 23. Octavius Marsh takes a, takes a seat. 14 to 10. Four-point Rebel lead over the Cougars. 32 shoots off. 43, here comes uh, Watford. Pulls up. Going to be a foul on Mitchell. It'll be his first. So at the line will be number 13, Austin Weber. It's a one and one. That's the seventh team foul committed by the Cougars here in the first half. Weber has a three-pointer, first trip to the free throw line. He's got the arch and puts it in. That gives him four points thus far on the night with one more coming. Number 41, Josh, Josh Thompson comes back into the game as uh, Golden sits down. Second shot's up. Nothing but net. So it's a six-point Rehoboth lead over Northview. All the way across court to number 12, jump, shoots, short. And they're only getting one chance at the, the basket, Bobby. They've got to do a better job rebounding offensively. Number 11 pulls up, puts it in. That's Greg Rogers. 18 to 10. If you look, there's nobody down in the paint for Northview. And they're taking all the shots from outside. And uh, you've got you've got to work down low to get open. They actually have uh, Mitchell is an excellent player. They've got to get him the ball. Thompson picks up a foul, his second. Football is the reported one, Josh Thompson on the double. So substitutions coming in. Number 11 is Casson Griffin for Norfew. Norfew looking to add to their total. They're trailing by eight. Just over five minutes left in the first half of play. Everybody's standing around for Norfew. They've got to move. You've got to move to get open. And uh, Rehoboth is just sit, sitting back and just let them just stand there. And every shot's a three-point attempt. Whistle. Mitchell drives up for a short jumper. So Rogers picks up his first foul. So both are in the bonus now. Mitchell makes that first one. 
and, and by the point I'm trying to make, only two players have scored on Northeast team. Number one, Jalen White, and uh, number 15, Antonio Mitchell. They're the, only, the they're the only players that have scored. Where well, Rehoboth has five players that have put points on the board. A block shot, but he hit the arm on the block. That's a uh, third foul on Marquez White. And that, that could spell trouble for the Cougars because he's their leading scorer right now. Only one of two scorers. <laughs> right. So Northview's got to start playing more team ball. If you look at it, Rehoboth is, is playing team ball. Rogers makes the first. Got another coming. It's a 19 to 12 lead. 7-2 run for Rehoboth, trying to make it 8. Went in and out. Rehoboth comes up with a rebound. Oh, 43. Bouncing on those boards. Loose ball. Thompson gets it. So, uh, there's a whistle. 43 is going to come to the line. 15 commits the foul. That's his second. Second. And, and Bobby, what you're saying, Rehoboth is getting rebounds. They are shooting the ball, and they're getting second and third chances at the basket. And Northview's not doing any of that. All right, Watford's three for four from the line. Got another one coming. Point out to here, Mitt, that uh, White has three fouls. Mitchell has two fouls committed for Northview, and they're the two scorers. Are they the only two playing? Well, you, you, like I say, uh, you got to play team ball. Right now, Northview is not playing team ball. Six for five for Watford. And they're standing around waiting on something to happen instead of making something happen. And you see, they're not getting second chance shots. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, you look at Rehoboth, how quick they get the ball out and get it up and in for two. Great assist there from, uh, from Rogers to Weber for two points. 23 to 12, and a whistle. An 11 point Rehoboth lead. Northview has only put up uh, four points in the quarter to 11 for. Uh, for the college, number 13, Austin Weber of the Rebels. Okay, Weber picks up his second foul. Up two for the Cougars is number 15, Antonio Mitchell. Mitchell, two for two from the line, four points. Misses that one. All right, here we come uh, with the, the substitutions uh, into the game. Antonio DeBose is back in for Rehoboth. Second shot for Antonio Mitchell, who missed the first. And he misses the second. And Rehoboth gets a rebound. Drake shoots, misses. Loose ball. So uh, the ball goes out on Northview, hit his foot. So uh, 35 will toss it in this time. Garrett Golden. Golden gets it into Josh Thompson. Golden to Weber. Number 11 shoots a three, short. That's, a, that's Drake Rogers. Here comes Northview on the fast break. Pulls up. And Rehoboth tried to come up with it. They, they almost did, Bobby. It was a great effort by Rehoboth. And Northview didn't do a very good job of handling the ball. Miles Akins comes in for Northview as Coach Fleming is trying everything he can to get somebody in there that can score some points. Well, it's, it's the guys have just got to get their head in the game. And, you know, just talking about that. And they almost threw a lazy pass, and it was almost picked off. They've just got to get their head in the game, put forth some effort, and turn this game around. But right now, Rehoboth is just dominating this game. 
14 shoot to three. Boy, they so, had a good transition going. It just uh, caused uh, Drake to take one extra step. What's got to happen here, Bobby? Somebody on Northview's team is going to have to step up and take some leadership. Right now, it's not happening. One shot up, and that's it. That was the first time they've gotten uh, second chance shots. They had three opportunities that time. 43, that's Watford's second. 23 to 12 with 255 left in the first half of play. We got substitutions coming in as Weber comes in along with number 31, Vincent Lampkin. Number 21 is coming in, Ladarius Dubose. So we got Ladarius in at 21 and Antonio in at 23. First one's up, no good. The rebound comes to Vincent Lampkin. That time they did a good job defensively forcing the turnover. Northview gets the toss in and bounds. Looking 23 to 12 is the total. It's all Rehova thus far. Tried to go inside to number 15. It wouldn't happen for Antonio Mitchell. So Rehoboth gets it. Loose ball on the floor. Good effort that time by number 15, Antonio Mitchell. Tied it up and calling a timeout with 226 left in the first half. And it's it's been a... Long first half for the Cougars of Northview. And it's been a good first half for Rehoboth. I've been very impressed with the way they have handled things. By the way, they move the ball. They never go down unless it's a fast break and the first person shoot the ball. Whoever gets the ball passes it, and they pass it around three or four times to try to get somebody open before they take the shot. On the other hand, Northview goes down, and whoever has the ball, when they take it down court or the first one to touch it, they shoot. So they've got to realize that they've got to learn to pass the ball around. And then also, all the uh, Northview offensive players are just standing around instead of moving to get open. 22, 219 left. A Northview on the attack. 32 puts it up and in. And see, that's what they need to do there. That was Grimsley. That's his first point of the night. And what happened? They passed the ball. And Grimsley broke toward the basket. They were able to get him the ball, and he put it up for two. Loose ball. Cougars finally come up with it, number 20. This is Miles Akins. Pulls up. Three-point shot. Misses again. They need to work the ball inside. How many three-point attempts have we seen them make? And how many three-pointers have they made? Uh, Zero. 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 That's what I'm talking about. There's only been one three-pointer made, and that's from Austin Weber right. on the Rebel side. So your three-pointers are not working. Take the ball in and get some points or either force them to foul you. Toss comes in to Weber. Josh Thompson into the hands of 35, and he loses it. But you see, Bobby, you see they were looking for a man down court. Antonio DeBose, that's four points. See, that time uh, they tried to force the shot. Number 12 puts it up, and it falls for him. That's Dez Cole. So Cole is the first score other than... Uh, well, you got Grimsley. Yeah, Grimsley. One minute left. So Northview doing a good job on the press pressure and Rehoboth and force that turnover. They've got to do some things like that to create some points off turnovers. 
31 is come back, coming back in the game. Thompson sits. So that puts uh, Vincent Lampkin back in. Rehoboth crosses the timeline, uh, 50 seconds in counting. Loose ball. Lampkin is hit with the foul. Lampkin picks up his first. At the line is number 12 for Northview, Dez Coleman. He has two points in the game. 45.3 seconds left. 25 to 16. Cole misses. Another shot coming. It's up. He makes it. So it's a 25 to 17 game. Gets it to Weber. 35 looks. That time he got uh, three seconds, but it would have been a traveling violation. He got caught in the air with nowhere to go. So 23 is charged with that violation. That's Antonio DeBose. 33 seconds left in the half. It's a 25-17 lead. And they go for another three, and it's off the mark, and Rehoboth gets the rebound. Two on one. And it goes out of bounds. So here's the inbounds toss from Rehoboth with 21.3 seconds left. Get to the Weber. They'll play for seconds. one shot. You see how Rehoboth is moving? You see how they're moving, Bobby? Versus what Northview's doing. Four seconds. And a whistle. So at the line is going to be Austin Weber. 13. Two, three. Marsh. So uh, Austin Weber has uh, seven points, two for two from the line. Weber, a senior. Puts it up. It's good. Three straight. That makes him eight points on the night. 26 to 17 in favor of Rehoboth. Misses. 23 gets a rebound. It won't fall. Three second lane. And that brings us to the half with the score Rehoboth 26 and 17 for Northview. And uh, at the half mitt, you, you, I think you told the story with uh, Northview, they have just got to get off their, uh, their, their flat feet and get on their tippy toes and do some moving. Well, what they've got to do is start playing team ball. Rehoboth is playing team ball. When they get the ball, they're looking to pass it, not looking to shoot. Northview gets the ball, they're looking to shoot and not to pass. So they've got to change their mindset here in the second half and work as a team. And then they've got to take advantage of their size inside and try to work the ball down in the paint and get some points on the board. So it's going to be a challenge for Northview in the second half. You know, anytime you're trailing by, uh, well, they're trailing by nine points now. And, you know, you got a hole you got to dig out of. But you can't come out and take all these threes. They probably took a dozen threes. I don't have those stats yet. But they probably took, made a dozen three-point attempts and then hit a single three-pointer. Yep. So they've got to move the ball in, stop standing around. But Rehoboth needs to keep doing exactly what they're doing. They are moving the ball. They're getting second and third chances at the shot, making two, three, four passes before they take a shot. And they're hustling and getting rebounds. And, uh, hey, they're doing it right. Yeah, their rebounds are coming on both sides of the board, too, uh, both offense and defense. Right. And, and uh, that's, that's the way you keep the other team from scoring. When you got more chances, you can score more points. And that tells the story at the half with the score, 26 for Hobart, 17 Northview.
It's halftime here at the Dothan Civic Center for the fifth annual national, uh, fifth annual, not national, but uh, <laughs> I was thinking Peanut Festival all of a sudden. Fifth annual downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. We got a barn burner here going on between Rehoboth and Northview. Uh, Rehoboth has a 26 to 17 uh, lead as we get ready to start the third period. Mitt. Oh yeah, and Rehoboth uh, did a very good job the first half. Northview performed very poorly. And uh, it goes back to what we talked about in the first half, teamwork. Rehoboth played as a team, Northview played as individuals. And that's why they are up by uh, nine points. Right off the bat, Rogers is hit with a f offensive foul. And uh, just quickly, Bob, and recapping his scoring, uh, the leading score for Northview is number um, one, Marquez White has eight, and uh, Antonio Mitchell with four. For Rehoboth, uh, Ladarius, let's see, Austin Weber has eight. Antonio DeBose has uh, four. And seven by Watford. A tap in from number 15, Antonio Mitchell. Mitchell gets a block. Nice shot by number three, uh, Ed Critton. That's his first points of the game. So Northview has come out and put up six points here in the second half. And it's a... Let's see what the call is. That's the third on Mitchell. And Mitchell blocks the shot, and Northview loses it out of bounds. So it's a five-point lead, 26 to 21. Ball stays at the road with the end of the court, and Antonio Mitchell is uh, favoring an ankle as he comes off. But he has three fouls. Number three for three. Misses. It was 35. Jump ball. It looked like it was out on uh, blue. So the Cougars will do the toss in here. Comes into number five, Harris. And he throws it away. Drake Rogers picks up a turnover. Nice feed over to number 23 for the basket to DeBose. Antonio DeBose, six points. 28-21. Harris tries to force it in. I mean, White tries to force it. Watford gets the rebound. Puts it to number 23. Puts it up. Misses. And a jump ball. And it goes to Rehoboth. Coach uh, Easterwood wants to talk to his guys on a 30-second timeout. 28-21 to 21 the score with 6.17 left here in the third. Rehoboth will be doing the inbounds toss here under their basket. Forty-three keeps fighting three times. Great effort by number forty-three, uh, Zachers Watford. I think he was injured on the play. And then he's, he's open and he's fouled again. That's Watford. He did the, he did the, uh, the pump fake, but it still didn't do him any good as number three Critton picks up his foul. So Watford, five for six. Six 
six for seven. No, five for seven. He missed that shot. So here comes the second one. So he made one, missed one, hit four straight, now missed another. But he makes that one. Eight, eight points in Northview, turn it over. Mitchell steps across the line. So Golden will toss it in. 29-21 is the score. And uh, Northview steals it. And then it goes out of bounds off the ball. So it's, uh, it's going to stay with uh, Rehoboth. So uh, tried to go in to Weber, running toward the basket. Uh, it was knocked away by number 12. So Rehoboth will try it again. <coughs> See, Mitchell's got to got to lay back because he don't want to pick up his fourth foul. Yeah, <coughs> and number 43, uh, Watford's got to remember that uh, with a foot inside that baseline, that line there, he's, he's in the lane. And that's a second violation call against him. And a, a terrible crash cross court pass. And a great layup by number 35. Garrett Golden. That's his first points of the night. Gets another steal. So it's a 10-point lead. Northview made a run in the uh, first couple of minutes of mm -hmm. the third, but since then they haven't done anything. 33 coming into the game for Northview. This is Jeremiah Carroll. He's a pretty good sized fella, 6'4. Northview trying to uh, go inside and up and in for number 20, Miles Aiken. That was a good drive that time by Aikens. Maybe he can uh, be the spark to get the Cougars going. Weber shoots shoot short. And that time, uh, White dished it off to number 12, Dez Cole. And uh, he's fouled, so he's going to be going to the line to shoot a couple. That's against Weber. It's a number three. Yep. Cole at the line. First one up. In and out. Cole is one of three from the line. He has three points in the game. Second one coming. 31 to 23. Make it 24. Mitchell steals the ball and loses it out of loses it out of bounds. Number 23 drives the basket. Wouldn't work for him. Turn around, jumper. Won't fall. Still fighting for it. Drake Rogers knocks it away. I tell you, Rehoboth is going after these loose balls. They're keeping that ball alive on the offensive boards, Bobby. And that's what you want to do. It's the opposite of what Northview's doing. Northview's got to step it up if they want to try and win this game. They're trailing by seven with four minutes, 22 seconds left in the third. Lampkin uh, tried to, to uh, but really he comes up with a rebound as he fights off the Rehoboth player. Here comes Drake. And that's going to be foul number four on Mitchell. Not a very smart foul that time, Bobby. Well, they said 1-5. That's Mitchell? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So subs coming in. Crittenden comes back in. And then uh, we have three guys coming in for Rehoboth. 41 is Josh Thompson. Offensive foul against Rogers. 
his third foul. So we have two players with three fouls for Rehoboth, Rogers and Weber. So here comes Don't Few up the court, trailing 31 24 with four minutes to go in the third. Loose ball. And as soon as they put that ball down on the floor, Rehoboth was going for it. So Rogers gets a breather as 21 Ladarius DeBose is in. Three point shot misses. Number three. Critton's second. Foul on number 33, I believe, this time. Carroll. That's his second. The call is again 33, Jeremiah Carroll, the Cougars. 337 left at the line is number 43, Zacchaeus Watford. Six of eight. Made the last two, so that makes him uh, seven of eight, seven of nine. Makes them both. Ten points for Watford. And Norfolk turns it over. 33 to 24. 336 left in the third. So 35 for Rehoboth will toss it in. That's Garrett Golden. DeBose to 13, Weber. 35 is uh, Garrett Golden. Won't uh, fall for him. Crittenden on the fast break. Wouldn't fall. And number 32 gets a, a roll in. That is Luther Grimsley. And they had to have that one, Bobby. That's Grimsley's fourth point of the game. Norfolk had to have something positive happen. Josh Thompson turn around. Sends it over to 35. 43 shoots. Rolls off. Gets his own rebound. Going to go up there again. And he is nailed by number 33, Carroll. I think he was trying to tackle him. Yeah, that was uh, pretty rough there. And that's going to be Carroll's third. The fouls keep piling up on Northview players. Uh, Antonio Mitchell is sitting on the bench now with uh, four fouls. And we still have over a period and uh, over 10, almost 11 minutes left in this game. 255. And Josh Thompson puts it up and in. Gives him four points. And a nine-point lead for Rehoboth. For three. Air ball. 20 puts it up. Followed up by number one, Marquez White, who had been quiet for a long time, puts it in. Yeah, he had eight points in the first half, and uh, he's come out in the second half. That's his first basket. Number 20 is going to be charged with this foul. That's going to be Miles Akins. His first. So uh, we go to one and one for Rehoboth. So at the line will be 21, Ladarius DuBose. He's a 10th grader. So Antonio looks, puts it up, short. Here come the Cougars. Nice feed over to number 12, uh, Coleman. Cole, and it's good. Six points for Cole. And Northview's cut the lead to five, but they, they haven't been able to sustain 
a drive. Josh Thompson for three. That was just like I said, they haven't been able to sustain any kind of momentum. 38 to 30. Knocked away by Cole. I'm impressed with number 41, Mitt. Josh Thompson, 6'3", yeah, 10th grader. He's a big, big guy, but he's uh, knocked down a couple of pretty shots. He has uh, seven points. So Northfield gets the ball in. Marcus Davis into the game for the Cougars. Crittenton. Jalen Harris back to uh, Critton. And traveling is a call against uh, Jalen Harris. Another Cougar turnover. And that's something they can't afford to do at this time, Bobby, is make turnovers and give uh, Rehoboth more scoring opportunities. All right. Rehoboth ball. Gets it in to number 23. Josh to Weber, then to number 23 toward the basket. And he's going to be a blocking foul. So 23 will come to the line. That is Antonio DeBose. And that's going to be for him, Marquez White. At the line is number 23, Antonio DeBose. This is, uh, he's 0 of 1 from the line. Has six points. Thirty-eight to thirty is our total. He missed that first one. Has a second one coming here. So, make it. So we're hoping to back up to a nine-point lead. Northview has cut the score down. It was a uh, thirty-five to thirty, but now we're hoping to run off nine straight points. Minute 19, 32 puts it up, won't fall, gets another one. Good effort that time by Luther Grimsley, staying with it. He missed the first shot, he put it up the second time, and he was fouled. So he's going to the line to uh, take a couple of uh, shots. Uh, this is his first chance at uh, the free throw line tonight. Third foul against Zacchaeus Watford. So Grimsley, first trip to the free throw line. Misses. Lampkin comes back in along with uh, Ladarius DuBose. So we got both uh, Ladarius and Antonio in there, 21 and 23. Makes that one. So it's an eight-point lead for Rehoboth. And they turn it over so the Cougars will get a chance to maybe take advantage of that turnover. 39-31, a minute four left in the third. Twenty-three shoots to three is off the mark. Again. Rehoboth. Uh, the Cougars get this rebound. And Bobby, they have not even close, come close to hitting the three-pointer, but they continue to take them. And that's what they need to do. You see, when they play teamwork, what happens? That was down to Luther Grimsley for two. So 35, Golden gets it across, pulls up, and uh, he is going to be fouled on Grimsley and the crowd's not too happy about that. That's Grimsley's third. So Garrett Golden comes to the line. He has two points tonight. First trip to free throw territory. Number 11 coming into the game. This is Kassan Griffin, a senior, 6'2", as Grimsley 
comes to the bench. He's probably going to take a seat. There's only 25 seconds left in the in the third, so he'll be on the bench probably for the remainder of the third. Gets the roll for 35, so Golden makes two there. So uh, Northview had cut the lead down to six points, but it's back up to an eight-point lead, 41-33. Lampkin, Vincent Lampkin will pick up his second. Number 15, Jacobs coming into the game. And uh, Josh Thompson takes a, a seat. Jumper is short. Lampkin gets the rebound. So it's knocked away from Ladarius DeBose, but it'll stay with the blue team. Okay, 13 is back in the game. Weber. Lampkin takes a seat. Three seconds left in the third. Shot is short, so after three complete periods of play, it's a 41-33 lead for Hoboth over Northview. Welcome to the final period of play here on the fifth annual Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. We're going to have the Northview Cougars tossing it in with a score 41 to 33. We're underway. 758. Northview needs points. There's two of them. From number one, Marquez White. 12 points for White, and uh, it's back to a six point lead. Northview's turning the pressure up defensively. Traveling. And force a turnover. That's number 23. And Antonio DeBose called for the traveling. So Coach Fleming trying to calm his players down and tell them not to, to rush. Take their time, but be firm with, with their shots. And what do we do? And turn it over. <laughs> to give it right back to them. <laughs> hey, it's not a point for a point. It's a turnover for a turnover. I heard that. And uh, Northview's not in a position to commit any turnovers. Drake Rogers with the ball. Oh, man. He just fought for that one all the way. That was a nice shot by Drake Rogers to give him five points. 43-35. In and out. Loose ball. Bodies everywhere. Three points. That's number 11. That's Rogers. five points in less than 30 seconds. And they're up by 11 points. They had cut the lead down to six, but uh, Drake Rogers uh, hit five points in a row to knock it back up to 11. So 35 took a pretty good stumble on the floor there, Garrett Golden. So... Uh, they're going to have the Southern Bone guy take a look at him. Six forty-four left in this contest. It's still a nine-point lead for the Rebels. Coach Easterwood trying to uh, get out of the first uh, first-round bracket. Number one shoots a three off the mark. Loose ball, gets his own rebound. 15, will not fall, will not fall. Here comes. That's, that's the story of the game for Northview. And it goes in and uh, by number 23, DeBose, and he's fouled up. Harris picks up his second. 
And it's a 13-point lead, just like that, Bobby. Coach uh, Fleming says, wait a minute, guys. You're going to let this thing get away from us. They, they really have. They, they had cut the lead down to uh, – they had cut it down to five. The, the score was 35 to 30. And then uh, Rehoboth went on a run. And then Northview was able to come back and cut the lead down to six points. But since then, it's been all Rehoboth. And uh, you've got to give a lot of credit to number 11, Drake Rogers, who had five points in a row. He hit a three, uh, two, then he hit a big three to put him up by five points. Uh, put him back up by 11 and then the shot by uh, that was number 23 just made the shot uh, DeBose to put him back up by 13 so Northview is ready to continue play Rover that just breaking uh, their little huddle on the on the uh, sideline at the bench as number 23 Antonio DeBose who is uh, one for two from the free throw line with a total of nine points tonight. Trying to make it 10, he does. Jalen Harris with the ball to White and he travels. He tried. <laughs> uh, so Rogers gets it to number 23. But you see what they're doing, Bobby, on the fast break. They're not looking to keep the ball and uh, keep it themselves. They're looking to pass it off to the open teammate. 5.50, 49.35. 23 is going to get a foul. They're still not in the bonus. Okay, that's uh, Weber. That's his fourth. So, num Des Cole with the ball. Gets it over to 15. Can't get it up. And going to get 15 reaching over the back. And that's going to be five for him. Yeah, it's going to be five for Mitchell. So he'll end the game with six points. So we're at a one and one. Josh Thompson with uh, seven points tonight, 0 for 2. He needs to make these free throws. There's one of them. So we're hoping there's gone from a six-point lead up to a 17-point lead, and they can make it an 18-point lead. With both shots? Yes. 53-35. Number 12 shoots a three. And Northview continues to miss from behind the three-point line. They have not hit a single three-pointer, but I bet they've taken 33-point attempts. There's another one. Still no good. 32 gives it to 12. Puts it up and in. That's Cole. They've had success inside when they've gone inside, but they just refuse to go inside. Foul on number 41, Josh Thompson, his third. And uh, number three, Ed Critton is down on the floor. He was uh, injured on that play. He's wearing two knee guards. Yeah, so uh, with timeout on the court, it's 5-16 left in the fourth. It's a 53-37 Rehoboth the lead. All right, uh, number three, Ed Critton, uh, came off the bench, but he had some help from uh, 
both the Southern Bull and Joint uh, guys, and they're checking that left ankle. So shooting for him is Miles Aiken. Misses the first one. Has another shot coming is number 20, Miles Aikens. 5.16 left as he misses both of them. Okay, that was called on Watford. That's four. So 23 coming back in, Antonio DeBose. As uh, Watford will sit out for a few minutes. It's a one and one. Going to the line is number 23, Antonio Marsh. He is 0 of 1 from the line tonight. No points. Give him one. So Makes Marsh, a look. Yeah, he knocks down both of his free throws, so... It's a 53-39 game. We're home with the leading. Just over five minutes left. Antonio DeVose. And Bob and B are always looking for their open teammate. And see the difference what Northview did? Whoever gets the ball, they shoot it. Yeah. They shoot it. So they're going to give it to the guys in white. Here's the inbounds toss. Number 12 shoots a three. Guess what? He missed it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you surprised? No. Foul's called on number 35, Garrett Golden. That's his third. So number 20 back at the line, Miles Aiken, 0 for 2 with two points. So this is the front end of a one and one. It's up. Won't fall. Thompson gets the rebound. They finally missed one. Yeah. 55-39, 420 left. Number 12 shoots for a three. 32 gets the rebound, misses. Whistle. Ladarius DeBose gets his first. At the line is number 10, Harold Blanchard. Oh, that's 20. Never mind. Miles Aiken. Makes that one. So 14's coming back in the game. This is Marcus Davis. This may be his first action tonight. Aikens has another coming. It's up. Short. Thompson. Ladarius DeBose with the, with the ball. Gets it to Josh Thompson. 23. So the foul is going to go against number 23 most likely. That's his second. 55 to 40, it's a 15 point Rebel lead.
All right, uh, 32 at the line. This is Grimsley. He's uh, two for three. Give him eight points. All right, this ball's in play with 3.53 left in the game. It's been a long night for the Cougars, but uh, a really good night for the uh, Rebels of Rehoboth. Grimsley goes for two for two on that one. And Bobby, it's down to a 13-point uh, lead. Yeah, 13 point. They were up by 20 uh, just a little while ago, but Northview hasn't been able to take advantage of the opportunities they've been presented with. Number 12 was out of position. Traveling is the call, so it goes over to Rehoboth. 55-42 as Weber comes back in. So uh, Ladarius DeBose comes out along with Josh Thompson. Lampkin with the ball. Loses it. Northview. 12 shoot to three. Misses. Five puts it up, and it's followed up by 32 Grimsley for two. Grimsley has done a good job under the boards tonight. So, Bobby, we're down to an 11-point lead, and that's three minutes left in this game. Three minutes. It's 55-44. Uh, Traveling. Double dribbling. So, uh... Rehoboth turns it over, so it's going to be the Cougars' ball. Grimsley goes out. He's, he's had a pretty good game. Yeah, pretty good night. 11, 11, 11 points, points yeah. yeah. 2.53 left. It's 55-44. So this is uh, long from over. And he's been very consistent tonight. So Jalen Harris brings it. The Cougars uh, open up their play. Shoot for a three-pointer. Number 12 is going to get this foul. I don't know what that. Well, I can tell you what that shooting percentage is from behind the three-point line. Zero percent. Zero. I'd like to see how many they uh, shots they've taken. <laughs> Two forty-five left. Coming to the line will be number thirteen, Austin Weber. He has uh, eight points tonight. He is uh, three for four. Three for four from the free throw line, and he's got uh, two shots here. North is zero of eleven tonight from the uh, behind the three-point line. So. Uh, that must be from the first half. <laughs> I, I think so. So Weber makes that one. Has the second one coming. 56-44. Makes it. 57-44. Back up to a 13-point lead. Good move that time from White. He takes it in for two. That gives him 14 points. Traveling call against Rehoboth. 57-46. Grims is back in. And number 23, uh, Marsh takes a seat. He leaves the game with two points. So clock continues to roll at 225. Three-point shot. Off the mark again. An offensive foul called on number 43. Watford, and that's going to be it for him.
he finishes with 10 points. And Wofford's had a very good game tonight, Bobby. Yeah, pretty good game. So we're waiting for Coach Easterwood to decide who comes into the game, and it's going to be Josh Thompson with 2.16 left. It's 57 to 46. Another three point miss. Another three point miss. So they haven't made the call yet. Yeah, so Northview's missed a couple of good so opportunities. They, yeah, so they gave it back to Northview again. They've had more success driving the ball down the middle of the lane. That time, uh, White drove it down, and he was able to score. It's a nine-point Rehoboth lead with 154 left. And um, it's going to be a foul called against uh, Rehoboth. That's going to go against number 35, Golden. That'll be his fourth. At the line will be number 14, Marcus Davis. Davis shoots in for one. 57-49. Makes them both. So Davis did a, a good job putting up both of those free throws. It's a seven-point game, believe it or not, Bobby. Yep, 57 to 44 is the total. You know, they and you have a minute 44, but the way Northview's playing, I, I don't see them overcoming it because for Hobart, they get the ball, they move it around and take it down the lane, and, you know, they'll get some more points on the board. Well, and also, uh, you know, we were talking about the three-point plays here. You know Northview's going to make a three before it's over with. You well, know it's going to happen. Well, I, I, if I was a bed man, I wouldn't take that bet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we just, we've, we've got the updated stat from Gareth uh, Franklin. He, he, he uh, informed us that uh, Northview had taken 25 three-point attempts and has hit absolutely zero. They had 11 in the first half and they've come out and shot another 14 in the second half and they are zero from 25 behind the three-point line. I say they're going to make a three, Mitt, uh, for a glass of hot tea. There's two points for number 12. That's Coleman. But you know, Bobby, they have been, Northview has been very successful driving the ball down the middle of the lane and laying it up. It's a five-point lead with a minute 33 left. Number 14, Davis. So coming to the line will be Drake Rogers. He is uh, one for two from the line. None bigger than these. It's a five-point game with a minute 33 left. So Rogers looks, puts it up. First one's there. He's got another one coming. Nine points for Rogers. Six point lead, 58-52. And this game has played for a long time. Gets the roll, makes them both. Marcus. Traveling's the call against 32. Minute 21 left. Offensive foul called against uh, Rehoboth, so it's going to be Northview's ball. They've gotten a couple of opportunities, but have not been able to take advantage of them. So Rogers picks up his fourth. Thank you. 
A minute 18 left, 59-52. 14 shoots a three. 12 puts it up. Out and out. Loose ball. Rehoboth comes up with it. A minute eight. Number five commits the foul. Harris. That will be his third. At the line is number 11, Drake Rogers. He's hit uh, three of four. He hit his last two. It's the second one, so it's a eight-point lead. And uh, White takes it down the lane, puts it up, and misses, but he's fouled. Fouls called on number 41. It's fourth. You know, I know it's close, but uh, that, that was, uh, I don't think there was any touching of anybody's arms on that one, even though he said it was. But, uh, I mean, they could call it on every, every single play. Yeah. Got to give the guys a little room to play basketball. Down to just under a minute, and Northview continues to struggle. That's his first attempt at a free throw tonight, Nick. Yep. He has 16 points, uh, McQuest White. Gets one up. It's his seven-point game. Weber. Hey, Thompson. To Golden. To Weber. To Golden. An offensive foul called against uh, Rehoboth. To the displeasure of the Rehoboth fans. <laughs> That's his fifth. So we're waiting for the officials to get it together here. Uh, they the bonus. Well, you know, they were in the bonus a while ago when uh, uh, the Cougars should have uh, went for a one and one, and they, they tossed it in. But And Fleming said something, but not really anything uh, developed from it. So the foul is on number 35, Garrett Golden. He finishes the night with four point points. So Austin uh, Ladarius DeBose is in, number 21, with 46 seconds left, a seven-point Rehoboth lead. They act like they got all day to go for it. 14. I they told finally you, hit a three. That's number 14. <laughs> Uh, Marcus Davis with the three, and that is probably the first three out of uh, 27 attempts. Or more. Full time out on the floor here with a uh, four-point lead. Four-point lead, Bobby. They were up 20, 20 points here in the fourth. So this game looked like it was over a long time ago, but Northview has clawed and scratched their way back in to this game. 34 seconds left, 60-56. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, here we go with the final 34 seconds. Rehoboth has to travel the length of the court. And uh, they're up by four. Weber gets to Bose. Thompson. Rehoboth is doing a, a really good job of spreading the floor out, Bobby. 21.6 seconds, and, uh, and Josh Thompson will come to the line. Number 41, Thompson, he's 50%. Two, he's, yeah, he's uh, two of four. With seven, nine points. Okay, Josh Thompson. 
First one's up. Count it. It's back to a five-point lead. Twenty-one point six seconds left. Ball's up. Makes them both. Those are two big free throws. Here comes Marquez White. Loses the ball. Two shot foul as uh, Antonio DeBose really paid for that one as he went up. Carmack is gone for the foul. Six one senior Antonio DeBose took one for the team on that one. So he's going to be shooting uh, two shots. With a six-point lead and 10.4 seconds left. Well, Bobby, we talked about it earlier, how if you dig a hole, it's hard to dig out of a deep hole. And that's what happened with Northview. The hole was just a little too deep for them to dig out of. Second one short. They're still fighting for it. And it goes in. So it's a 58 to 63 win for Rehoboth. So Rehoboth takes this one 63 to 58. What a game this one has been. And it took a while. It took a while, Bobby. And uh, the reason it took a while, <laughs> there was a lot going on. But uh, it was a tough loss for the Cougars. But Cougars, but a big win for the Rebels. And uh, they really deserved the win because they came out and did exactly what they needed to do. They played team ball. And that's the thing Northview liked tonight. They did not play together as a team. And, uh, and they committed too many turnovers and attempted too many three-point shots. They uh, were late in the fourth. They were zero for 25. And I think they ended up uh, one of 27 from behind the three-point line. And, you know, you live and die by that three-point pointer, and uh, they died tonight. Yes, they did for the Cougars in their losing effort. Of course, they're leading score tonight. And most of those points came in the first half as he got into foul trouble. It was number one, Mike Marquez uh, White. Uh, although he did make a couple of uh, key baskets toward the end. Uh, finished the night with 17. The second leading scorer was Luther Grimsley, who fouled out with 11 points, followed by Dez Cole with 10. Six points from Antonio Mitchell. Five points from Marcus Davis. Three points from Miles Akins. Uh, two points for Octavius Marsh. Ed Critton uh, finished the night with, with two points the for the man. Cougars. Okay, over on the Rehoboth side, the lead scorer tonight was, uh, I believe, was Antonio DeBose. Yeah, he 15. had 15 and 10 from uh, Austin Weber, uh, 11 from Drake Rogers, uh, 10 coming from Zacharias, uh, Zacharias Watford, and Josh Thompson added. Uh, let's see, Made 11. 11. So it was a. Uh, uh, good balanced scoring attack for Rehoboth tonight. And, and Northview just really, from the beginning, they took a 4-0 lead, but that was it. They never let it again in the game. But they came back a couple of times, but it just wasn't enough. Okay, the stage is set uh, for uh, 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 three of the brackets as we uh, will continue with one more game. It's going to be a, a shootout between the Raiders of Houston Academy and uh, Barbara County, I believe they're the Lions. Are they the Lions for Barbara County? But anyway, uh, that's Jaguars, uh, that, I believe. the Jaguars. Okay, that's the next game coming up. So the final score here at the uh, fifth annual downtown Dothan Hoops Classic: the Cougars fall to Rehoboth by a score of 63 to 58. The Rebels advance to the second round. So that wraps it up for this game from the downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. Mitt Kirkland. Uh, my sidekick there, uh, uh, Brian Nyman, Bobby Price saying so long. We'll see you again soon here on the Scenic Local Channel.